Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can actually fix foot drifting and you know sometimes when we use AI motion data we're going to see a lot of root drifting it's going to drift slide there's going to be a lot of issues that you're going to face and you know it's a problem that you can't get around so I'm going to show you guys how we can fix that and fix the root offset and set the feet firm in place so it's pretty simple to do and I'm going to break it down step by step for you today if we take this clip here in front of us you can see I've got a before and after and on the left hand side you can see there's a lot of sliding going on and drifting the character's drifting as he seats and in our clip on the right you can see uh, the character doesn't drift and actually stays firmly in place so it's a really simple thing to do and I'm going to break it down in a few different steps here we can see we've done some motion correction on the feet so when the character stands up the feet remain in a nice firm place on the ground and you know that's pretty simple to do as well I'm going to show you how to use the motion correction to achieve that and thirdly we're going to use the reach targets to actually attach the hands to the character's fires and ensure that they don't go through the mesh you can see in our before and after the difference and so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well in this tutorial so we've got a few things to cover so in our clip here you can see we've got our two characters and they're both doing the same thing at the minute you can see they're both sliding and drifting and you know it doesn't really look pleasing we're going to get that to stick firmly in place the pivot of the animation is going to slide when the character sits you can see here you know a lot of sliding going on so we really just want to kind of fix this and you know get that in place and avoid all of that drifting and those sliding issues and what we're going to firstly do to actually achieve this is we're going to find the point in the motion clip just before the character takes a seat and we're actually going to break the motion clip to get the dedicated clips now we're going to go to the point where the character sits and you can see the you know the sliding and drifting is very evident in this but all we're going to do is we're going to be aligning the whole clip to the right foot and that will re-decide the pivot of the motion so we just want to align that to the right foot and you'll see straight away that it kind of gets rid of that drifting and you know it really looks um pretty cool and pretty easy to do and you know just to kind of break it down just so you can understand what what's taken place all we've done is we've aligned we've aligned the motion which is the slide which is the motion where the character sits down and then he starts to slide we're aligning that to the right foot and as we can see the right foot stays in place when the character takes a seat so when we align the motion to the right foot it means that it will evidently follow the action of the right foot so it will avoid that drifting that we're seeing in the previous clip or the previous mannequin here so you know it's really really easy to do and if we play it back you'll see the character takes a seat and that gets rid of that drifting issue entirely and uh, what we're going to want to do of course is when the character stands up there is some issues with drifting again and sliding so we just want to break the clip here and then we're going to simply find the point where the character stands from the seat and we're going to break it again and we're just going to then do the exact same thing here we're going to align to the right foot again and what this is going to ensure is when the character stands up uh, that motion is aligned to the right foot so it will avoid that sliding issue that we're facing so you know really simple to do pretty um, you know pretty easy to remember and you know you're going to get some incredible results just using these tools here and what we're going to do we're going to actually change the pivot to the left foot and do the same procedure to fix the left foot sliding on this last bit of motion so we'll just go to a line hole clip and we'll choose the left foot and then that will fix all of those issues as you can see here so all we're doing is aligning the motion to different parts of the body the feet here in this instance and this is allowing to you know get rid of that drifting and that sliding and you can see here in the before and after when we've got the clip aligned that really is you know doing a lot of justice to the motion and it really is fixing that drifting and that sliding issue that's being caused so you know really really simple to do so we've basically solved the root drifting issue by aligning the particular body parts okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to flatten all the motion with constraints and make that one whole clip 
And now you can see we've got that baked in our timeline. And what we're going to do next is we're going to come on to the second issue and try and deal with that. And we're going to use the motion correction to create the footprint for solving the sliding issues that we can see are still predominant in the scene. So we're just going to hit correct once we've got that selected and that's going to create the footprints for us. And then we can adjust the little sliders here in the reach for the different feet. And that will kind of, you know, get that tight and get that cleaned up exactly how you want it. You've got full control over this. So we can just, you know, slide it in different directions for later releases or earlier releases and get that perfect. So that's all we're doing here is we're just setting the points where it releases and constrains. And, you know, we're going to get some perfect results. And as you can see here in the before and after with the motion correction on the feet, we eliminate that sliding completely and you know really simple to do and you know looks really 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 good so you know really easy to do in this next step we're going to look at how we can use our reach targets to actually avoid the breaking of the mesh here we can see the character's hands go through the mesh so we'll just select the reach target and keep current pose and we'll select it to both of the fires and then what we're going to do is use the gizmos just to reposition them and get them in the right position and you know really simple to do it doesn't take much of an effort and as you can see here we have got them positioned nicely now there's a little bit of popping on the arms as you can see so we're just going to tweak that uh, and fix that here we're going to go to our point in the timeline and just raise those arms up a little bit to avoid that popping as you can see and we'll do the exact same thing to the other arm and just get that perfect and then when we play it you can see the hands are now firmly sticking to the fires and we can set the release at different points when the character gets up and then the hands will release as you can see here and if we check the before and after you can just see exactly what we've done that simple to do it doesn't take much effort and you know it really is something that's going to make the world of difference to your animation so i really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial